Here in Staten Island, um, we've been saying it since the beginning, the only way to fight a bully is to punch him in the mouth. That's what we've been doing. I think he's on his heels right now, and it's just about time for him to go. And Governor Cuomo knows this. If you're a Staten Islander, and the Department of Justice asks you for information, and you lie or withhold that information, they're coming to your house at five o'clock in the morning to drag you to the host camp. And Governor Cuomo sits up there in Albany, he's got the same vowel at the end of his name, he can lie to the people, he can lie to the DOJ, and he can get away with murder on 15,000 people. So Danny has inspired people in this state, like the guys from Veneto, Pizza and Pasta up in Rochester who broke the governor, and he's inspired people around the country. And I think Governor Cuomo stepping down will make this state at least have one more black cloud raised from off of its head. Glad you're many back, everybody. Taking a trip back to Staten Island, New York, where we find Max Public House. This restaurant was forced to shut down by the Board of Health. The owner was arrested, even, folks. Since then, Cuomo has lifted restrictions and allowed a small capacity for indoor dining. But Max Public House does not appear on that list. Some are thinking this might be a vendetta of sorts. Joining me now, live from Max Public House, is one of the owners, Danny Presti, along with talk show host and a candidate for 2021 New York City Comptroller, John Tobacco. Gentlemen, Great to see you. Thanks for being with us tonight. Danny, I'm going to start with you. Is this a vindictive move by Governor Cuomo in your estimation? And why are you opening up your doors despite his orders? Uh, we still feel that the orders shouldn't even be in place. Uh, the governor, we don't feel like, should even be governing the state at this point. And we have a mayor that's still trying to follow the rules, I guess, uh, because, again, these aren't laws. And the governor doesn't have these powers to make a law. And between Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo, we just have no faith in the leadership um, still to uh, we're going on many, many months, actually a year, I think, to the date today. And we just don't see that we should be following any of these so-called mandates anymore because this we follow the science and the science says we should be able to open. But, John, before I get to you, Danny, I just want you to expand a little bit on that first answer of yours. Do you think it, it, that not only Mr. Cuomo's uh, China virus deaths inside of senior citizens' homes uh, may be weighing down on, uh, basically, he has lost the authority to govern effectively. Is that why you're saying you, you just don't feel like uh, paying attention to his edicts? Yes, um, that has a big part to do with it. Uh, also, in, in the beginning, we said that these, these mandates, the so-called mandates, weren't uh, they weren't backed by any solid proof. And now for a man to get up here who should be in jail himself and sit there and continue these lockdowns and just pick and choose when he wants to lift them and to which county and which district gets to open, none of it makes any sense. Uh, we should not be following this man. And if he does have, it, it seems like he does pick and choose not only certain restaurants and regions, but also he goes against other politicians. And he's still trying to say that he holds power. And what I'm trying to do is show that he does not hold power over free men and free women. Hey, John, it's always good to see you, man. Uh, why has Danny's okay. case piqued your interest? Well, look, I'm a local Staten Island guy. You know, I'm the son of a cop. I've always stuck up for my community. When I saw what was going on over here, Chris, I'm looking at it. Walmart, for some reason, can do whatever they want. They paid $700 million in bonuses in December. And as I'm sitting here talking to Danny and Keith about their plight, the sheriffs come in and literally handcuff the guy. And now I start thinking, if I don't use my voice, if I don't use my platform to show people that in Staten Island we stand up to the bully, then we're all possibly finished. Because if the king wants to squash the peasants, the people who raise their voices are the one he turns his guns on. And Chris, I've been saying this for months, and some people snickered at me and laughed at me. I said, this guy is running this state like a mob boss. Fear, intimidation, threats, all this other stuff. And now we find out that Don Cuomo Leone himself, he marched 15,000 people to their deaths. He's got no less than seven women now who are saying that he sexually harassed them, and even one saying sexually abused them. And at the same time, we're still supposed to be following this guy. 
If he had any honor as a fellow Italian, he'd fall on the sword and step down right now and let this state get back to business and not killing people. Yeah, let the record show you were 100% correct about COVID Cuomo. Not only that, but he also threatens members of his own political party when they actually call for an accounting of what he's done. Danny, uh, Cuomo has certainly been in the news for all the wrong reasons lately. We just articulated why. Many Democrat and Republican senators and members of Congress want him to resign. Mayor de Blasio even wants him to, to get out of there. Listen to Cuomo's reaction. The folks in this state and the political leadership don't believe him anymore. Just, he doesn't have any credibility. So I think an impeachment proceeding will begin, and I think he will be impeached. And perhaps right before that, he'll decide to resign. That's probably the most likely outcome right now. But I got to tell you something. He should resign right now because he's holding up our effort to fight COVID. He's literally in the way of us saving lives right now. All right, sorry. That was de Blasio, not Cuomo, but basically commenting on the guy. Danny, do you think he's ever going to resign or do you think he's just going to try to wait it out? I don't think he's going to resign because he's that stubborn. Um, I think that uh, de Blasio and the rest of the state officials would love to see him resign. And they want to see him resign because they don't have to then be held accountable themselves for what actually happened during this pandemic, because they put this man in charge and gave him total authority to make decisions. And that's on them. And now they want him to resign so that they don't have to answer for what he did before. So I'm going to try to hold as many people accountable as I can. And I think that the, the mayor and a lot of other officials are coming out wanting him to resign for a very specific reason here. Well, hey, John, I, I owe you another question. I want to get you back on and talk about your, your comptroller run uh, to expand on what you're going to be doing. But I got to scoot now. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.